this quick video, we're going to show you how to turn off custom errors mode. Occasionally when somebody delivers a DNN website to you, they may forget to turn this setting off and it's important for you to do that. If you don't do that, when certain errors occur, your visitors may see an undesirable error message. And what's worse is some people that may have worse intentions for your website, such as a hacker, uh, will have information that you don't want them to have. The first thing that you'll want to do is log in as a super user. Once you do that, simply go to the persona bar to the settings menu. And now you'll want to open the config manager. We have a whole nother video that just covers the config manager, so we won't go into great detail in this one. You'll find it in our playlist. The configuration manager will open, and now we can select the web.config file. Next, you'll want to scroll down to where you'll find the custom errors setting. In this site, it's approximately line number 150. You'll see it right here. There are three values that you'll usually see here that are supported. The first one that you see here is remote only. That's actually what you want in most cases. Other options include on and off. If you see off here, that's probably the worst thing that you can have. That's what will allow your visitors to be able to see these messages that you don't want them to see. We suggest remote only. So that way, if you have access to your web server, you can still look at the error message when you log in directly to your web server without having to change the setting at all. Uh, another option is just on, in which case the custom errors are always shown, even if you look at your website on your web server itself. So we suggest changing this to remote only. Once you make the change, click Save Changes. And then at this point, choose to say yes, so that way the changes are saved. And then these changes will be saved on your server. You'll want to be sure to do this at a time that's not during peak hours in some cases for some websites because the very next page load for somebody could take a lot longer. That's all there is to it.